Hi, friends. I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor at Central United Methodist Church right here in Waterford, Michigan. Each week, to accompany the message on Sunday morning, we produce message notes and, uh, and uh, daily devotions Monday through Friday. And then I also spend these few moments with you uh, to further unpack the scripture for Sunday, as well as uh, share some thoughts in terms of what's going on in our world and how this uh, scripture impacts our lives. So today is Friday, uh, January 15th, and this is my daily devotion. I'd like to begin with two brief passages of scripture that we considered this past Sunday. The first is a doxology. A doxology is uh, literally a study of praise. It is a, a, a brief moment of unadulterated, unencumbered, unfettered praise of God. And we find those doxologies uh, throughout our scriptures. If you're of a certain age, you might uh, remember that doxology is uh, what we sing uh, usually at the time of taking an offering forward uh, for the blessing of it uh, during a worship experience. But <clears throat> uh, the doxology is uh, really just what I said it was. It's a, it's a uh, opinion of uh, praise of God. It's a study of our praise of God. So, uh, I want to uh, share this doxology that uh, Paul offers in his letter to the people of Ephesus. So this is found in Ephesians, the third chapter, verses 20 and 21. Now to him who by the power at work within us is able to accomplish abundantly far more than all we can ask or imagine, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. And then the second scripture is from Matthew's gospel, uh, chapter 3, verses 13 to 17. This is the description of Jesus being baptized, which is what we've been speaking about is Jesus' baptism and our own baptisms uh, throughout this past week. This, uh, again, chapter 3, verses 13 to 17 in Matthew's gospel. Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. John would have prevented him saying, I need to be baptized by you and do you come to me? But Jesus answered him, let it be so now for it is proper for us in this way to fulfill all righteousness. Then he consented. And when Jesus had been baptized, just as he came up from the water, suddenly the heavens were opened to him and he saw the spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, this is my son, the beloved, with whom I am well pleased. May God add a blessing to the reading of both of those scriptures. Friends, as we conclude this week, we've talked about Jesus' baptism. We've talked about our own baptisms. Uh, we've talked about them being God's moment in which we recognize God's love, God's grace, God's direction in our lives. But it's also our moment in terms of God offering this wonderful affirmation. He offers it to Jesus, but I believe that it extends to us as well, that this is my beloved son, my beloved daughter, my beloved child, the beloved with whom I am well pleased. So what I actually see at work here with uh you know, working with both of these scriptures at the same time is an intersection. It's an intersection of two doxologies, a word of praise, a word of praise from us, recognizing that God is able to accomplish abundantly far more than we can, than all we can ask uh, uh, or imagine. And then at the same time, it's a sort of a, a, our loving God returns that doxology and saying that we are his beloved with whom he is well pleased. Doxologies are a wonderful part of our history, our people of faith. It's an opportunity for us to unashamedly praise our God and offer to God just how we feel about his love, his grace, his mercy for each and every one of us. So, the issue that we sort of dealt with throughout this week is how do we best hear God? How do we put our places, put ourselves in places that is conducive to hearing God's word? Well, of course, we can always say, well, the church is a place. Well, that's a really interesting 
<laughs> answer, uh, given the pandemic in which we're living, that we are uh, separated from one another, we are social distancing, but we have uh, this, this devotion, we have Sunday morning services, we have uh, studies going on throughout this week, all of these things have been created so that we as the church can stay connected with one another and stay connected with our God. And so uh, we have all these opportunities to be in a conducive atmosphere to hear God speak to us. And God speaks to us uh, in, in moments of prayer, in moments of reading scripture and solitude, in moments of worship with others, in Bible studies. In I like to think that God is present in Zoom meetings and uh, our time together uh, through that uh, uh, through that technology, that God can work with whatever ways we are willing to open ourselves up to hear God's word. So we should look for conditions that are conducive to hearing God's message. When we should we should also recognize and seek and test that communication, that word. Uh, is it consistent uh, with Scripture? A community of faith, is it, cons is it consistent with our, our general experience of God? What is it that God is asking you to do? And is it consistent with, God, with what God has asked of others in the community of faith? Thanks be to God who, who, uh, pro who we proclaim to be able to accomplish abundantly far more than all we could ask, all we could imagine. To him be glory. Let's pray. Gracious God, we ask that your peace be upon us. This has been a tough week, week and a half, uh, as we're still reeling from the insurrection of January 6th in our nation's capital. We are praying, Lord, for a peaceful transfer of power in our nation, one uh, a, a transfer of power that has marked our our democratic republic for uh, nearly 250 years. We ask that your grace give to us a sense of your direction and your wisdom in our leadership, at the state level, in, the, in, the, in our country, in our churches, Lord. And we ask that you bless us with your peaceful presence and your bold direction for our lives. In Christ, we pray. Amen. Have a great week, friends, and God bless. I hope to see you in worship on Sunday.